For 54 years, Education Minnesota has awarded one teacher in the great state of Minnesota the distinct honor of being Teacher of the Year. They have come from classrooms all over the state in that half century, taught at every level in our schools. One would have thought every kind of teacher has had this honor. Well, not yet. In the field of finalists this year, a teacher of the likes that has never been nominated before. Tonight, we introduce you to a Teacher of the Year finalist, Adam Keenell. All right, so first and foremost, congratulations. Thank you. Adam Keenell has been a teacher for more than a decade, but it's only been in the past couple of years that he has landed that space in a vocation we all wish we could find. I actually had a dream, it was kind of awkward, I guess, uh, about a year and a half ago, and, and in my dream, I was talking about teaching, and I said, this is my dream job. And I woke up and I said, oh my goodness, I just said in my dream that this is my dream job. His dream job is in a place no one wants to go. You see, his dream job is teaching English and adult basic education in prison. When you decided to pursue a career in education, mm -hmm. ever in your wildest dreams, did you think you'd wind up at a correctional institution? Definitely not. Definitely not. I, nobody, I never grew up thinking, you know, I really would like to, to be a corrections educator. But now looking back, I think, how could I not have known that? Adam is not an apologist for what the men at the Faribault Correctional Facility did to get them into prison and then into his classroom. That's not his job. His job is to try to give those men a chance at something they may not have given a chance before they got there. Meaning we have students who are 19 years old all the way through late 60s, but they all share that same common um, issue in that they never earned their high school diploma. Some of these guys have never even learned to read, never been educated on what education could mean. Making sure, helping them to see that through education, you can have better opportunities on the outside than what you did when you came in. Adam's honest that the trust doesn't happen on the first day. Many of the men in his classroom are just hardened, not really interested. So Adam has to find another way. A lot of our students have children. They listen to what I'm saying to the other students and how I'm encouraging the other students with, you know, did you write your kid a birthday card? Did you call your kid last night and talk to your kid? So they hear me talking to other guys privately and they eventually start to see, look, this guy really does care about our education. Do you care? I do care. No, I do care. The thing that I care most about, though, is the, the children of our, of our students. I really see the importance of helping fathers or grandfathers, uncles or big brothers to become better readers and more critical thinkers because of the effect that it's going to have on the children. And there's a reason he cares about those children. A reason we all need to consider. We have 16,248 students in Minnesota who have an incarcerated parent. Mm -hmm. And so if we can help those parents to get their education and valuable job skills, that's ultimately going to benefit those students. But even with that mission, there are still some who say no. Two critics who say, you're in prison, you don't deserve anything. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? So I, I have heard that before. And it always kind of humbles me. And then I, I ask the question back, you know, who do you want to move next door to you? Somebody who is pursuing career options and future education, or somebody who really has no value in those things? It's a pretty good question. Who do you want to live next door to you? Because 7,000 people will leave jail in the state of Minnesota this year, those people become our neighbors and live in our communities. And so if they're invested in the community, hence the education. Adam is the first teacher from a correctional institution ever to be in the finalist category for Teacher of the Year, and the awards will be announced on Sunday. Awesome, awesome stuff. And he said something I've never heard before. And kids at home, if you're watching this at dinner and you're about to go to bed, know this. If you have a dream and in your dream you say, this is my dream job, <laughs> your subconscious is on par with your body, keep doing it because that is rare and that is awesome. Yeah. Congratulations to Adam.